one and zero as a quarterback for the Eagles. Uh, just basically, um, you know, just taking one play at a time. That's pretty, pretty much what we were saying on the sideline. Just taking taking our time and uh, making plays. And guys came up big and making plays with a third down and, and keeping the chain moving. About the effort, Deshaun, you know, shook the one guy on the third down. Yeah. Cooper had the big play back the end. So just all the effort the guys were showing up. Yeah, I mean, it's just this all week at practice. That's how it was all week at practice, and, and it, it transferred over to the to the game field. So, you know, D-Jack uh, made a big play for us, almost put it in the end zone, and, and Riley did a great job all day today, and he finished the drive off. So it's just a great job by our guys coming in and stepping up. How do you feel like this is your first start almost a year, first start for the Eagles? Uh, everything was on the line for you guys. What was it like just for you going out there and like, able you know, definitely happy and excited about being back out there. But, you know, like I said all week, it's not about me. I just wanted to go out. The The biggest challenge with me for today was is just calling the plays, uh, getting the guys out of the huddle, um, you know, not getting no delayed games and things like that. And uh, overall, I feel like I did a good job with that. But overall, I really feel like it's a team effort. Um, we, we we played a good game. We played a definite game. Early on? Uh, somewhat, yeah. I had a couple of little jitters. You know, it's been a while. But uh, overall, I, I started to, to calm down and, and start, you know, letting the game come to me. The Giants tie it late. We know this team's had trouble in the fourth quarter. I mean, what's your mindset when that game gets tied and you go back out on the field? Uh, I mean, just, you know, stay poised. Um, and like I said, just taking one play at a time. You know, I really feel like our defense did a great job tonight, um, you know, stopping and, you know, keeping it, you know, 10 3 for a while. And, um, and our defense did a good job of, of finishing at the end of the game. So it's just type of things that we have to do as a team to, to continue to, to get, continue to get better and better. It seemed like you struggled a little bit, you know, with the interceptions and all that, but you just kept, Andy said you kept working your way through all that. Just kind of describe your mindset as, as you're going along in this game. Uh, I mean, you know, as a quarterback, these type of things are going to happen. But, you know, I've been preaching and saying all week to our guys that we have four quarters. And, you know, if I'm going to preach it and say it, um, if I have a mistake, you know, just get ready for the next series. And that's pretty much what I did. Get to the sideline, uh, basically looking at the pitchers and uh, talking to Marty and getting ready for the next series. Vince, that, that, that's Jason Vaughn's face. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I said, I told that guy, man, he's one of the guys that, you know, kind of had to drive to continue to keep going. And, you know, just the respect that I have for Jason Vaughn. I mean, like I said earlier this week, I think he's one of the best um, – um, slot guys in the game right now. The way he runs route, uh, the way he sticks and moves, the guys be out there grabbing him all day. So it's just a type of athlete that he is. So I just have a lot of respect for him. That was a huge catch for us. Hey, Red Jack, do you, do you regret saying this about the dream team stuff, given what happened to you? Uh, you know, really no comment about that. I mean, you know, people blew that out of proportion. This is just how I felt about the team uh, as individual guys coming in that we can be one of those teams that we continue to keep working like we're doing right now. So guys put blew that out of proportion, but, you know, that's in the past. How are you different to Sean Jackson out there tonight? Yeah, just, I mean, all week of practice. I mean, when he told y'all on the interview how he felt, how he's going to be a team player and all these different things, he did that all week of practice. He was studying, um, and then he brought it to the game field, and y'all saw that as well. You've won a lot of games in your college and pro career, and you're kind of known as more of a winner than a precision quarterback and a mechanic. Is this kind of a typical Vince Young performance for you, where it might not be pretty, but you come out with a W? Definitely. I mean, it's always like that. I mean, I mean, it's just how quarterbacks is. It's the game, you know. Um, I really feel like Marty did a great job of calling the plays for me, um, keeping me poised, and you know, short routes, checking the ball down, things like that. So I, I really feel like I give all respect for him for, you know, you know, calling the play call and make, me making the, you know, the good decisions and things like that. How confident right now is this team? I mean, obviously, we're still an uphill climb, still under 500. <laughs> What is this win going to do for you? Uh, it was definitely a big win for us. Uh, just to see the excitement, the smiles, uh, the coaches, everybody, that's, that's what we need, um, and that's what we want to continue to have. So the guys are going to go back to work tomorrow and, and get back to the drawing board and get ready for a, a very tough team with Tom Brady that everybody respects. Do you have any idea of how Mike was recovering and if you think he'll be starting? No, I have a slight idea, a slight idea. I know he's taking care of his responsibility back at home. It's your 3-0 three three against the Giants. Say it again. You're 3-0 against the Giants. Any explanation for that? <laughs> Not at all. I mean, just go out and play ball. I mean, uh, got a lot of respect for the Giants. You know, Aaron Ross, you know, kind of mad at him. That's one of my good friends. He intercepted me today. I told him don't do stuff like that. <laughs> but overall, they're a really good team, and I just go out there and just play my game, I mean, and that's pretty much what I did today. Is there enough time for your team to reassert itself in this division? Uh, there's always enough time for anything. It's, it's all about us. And, um, you know, as a team, we got to continue to keep working, uh, continue to you know, get behind the um, and, and behind the scenes with film work and, and, and communication and all these type of things. And I really feel like we'll be okay. We just got to keep that type of excitement that we have today and continue to bring it on the practice field and then transfer it to the game field. Thanks, Vince. Thanks.
to Vince Young. An impressive performance, especially in the fourth quarter, as we said, from him. And the question now becomes, who is going to be able to lead this team against Tom Brady and the Patriots next Sunday? Is Michael Vick going to be healed with those two broken ribs, the lower broken ribs? Or will the Eagles once again turn to Vince Young? Well, it's just, you know, it's good that they have that option to have a quality quarterback like Vince Young uh, to be able to substitute for uh, Michael Vick. Those are, you know, those are injuries that are more so um, painful as far as, you know, movement and stuff. It, it probably wouldn't hamper them a lot, but the pain that they have is, is definitely difficult to play with those. Absolutely. Let's go back to the phone lines now. We have David from Hawaii. David, uh, aloha. Aloha. How's it going? Uh, it's pretty good right now. I'm digging the, digging the after-game show and digging the win against the New Jersey Giants. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely yes. What was, yeah. your, uh, what was your favorite moment from this game? Oh, Colin Jenkins drilling. I mean, no, well, the win, but um, Colin Jenkins drilling. I'm, I'm all about if they, if, like, right there, if the guy's hurt and he can't play, I mean, we need to get back with, like, you know, Seth Joyner, Jerome Brown, kind of just punching fools in the face, not helping them up when they're down. You know, if they can't play, they can't hurt you. So that's I really good, like the, the that's physical a fair play. Point. And we'll show and, it. Uh, but all in all, team, team effort. Got to watch out for those dumb penalties. But other than that, Got the W. It's good stuff. I'm going to give you my uh, my other underrated moment outside of the big plays came from Brian Roll with that play in the uh, in the first half when he celebrated with the uh, the Tommy gun move. Oh uh, yeah, was I, was, I was I was praying that they weren't going to throw a flag for that. I thought that was great. He might you know he might hear from the uh, from the commissioner's office on that one, but uh, I did love that. We were we were all cracking up here in the studio. Yeah, you know, just the whole thing of uh, just stopping the run and just you know it was. You know, it was just like back, like gangrene. You know, tackling. It was, it was, it was exciting. You know, and it was main thing, team, team effort, and you got the W. But uh, I really liked the physical play. You know, and uh, I think that, uh, I mean, all in all, in my opinion, I don't know about you, but I, no one's whooped, whooped our butt this year. It's been more us beating ourselves. You know what I mean? That's so, that's absolutely true. And uh, of course, it's about how much, how many games are left now. Only seven games to make make up this deficit, but. It's true that when the Eagles no, when the Eagles play their best game, uh, no one has beaten them. Over, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when we played the Cowgirls, that was done. You know what I mean? That was that was a butt whooping. No one's done that to Philly yet this year. We've had all you know. I'm going to talk about us blowing the fourth fourth quarter leads and this and that. And hopefully within the the team, it seems like they're working that out. And if if they can do that and stay, stay away from dumb penalties and stuff, you know, it's over. And you know that that really is the determining factor on the success of the of the Eagles, you know, them beating themselves. And a big thing is the enthusiasm that they bring to the game. If they're not enthusiastic, they're not going out with the, the reckless abandonment like they did this game, then it's going to be hard for them to win games. So yeah. that was definitely like a right there, factor. Showing, when you guys showing with Deshaun Jackson throwing that, I don't know about you guys, but I always thought it was a good idea. If I was the coach, I'd be like, anytime you guys do a penalty like that or excessive celebration where it hurts the team, take money from their paycheck and send it either to the New Jersey Giants or the Cowgirls for their equipment fund and be like, you're going to pay for them to hurt you on the field with that stupid stuff. All right. But, well, thanks for the call, David. All right. Great job on the show. Go Birds. No problem. Have a good night. And you still got a long uh, night ahead of you, I guess, out there in Hawaii. Um, Baron, have you ever been a, a part of a team that started so slowly and was able to uh, right the ship at any point along the way. Absolutely. You know, when I did win the Super Bowl with the with the Steelers, you know, we went through the same thing. We uh, got in a position where we got got behind as far as our win-loss record and uh, we ran off eight straight games. So it's definitely possible for the Eagles to get this done. It just, like I said, it's more so the, the attitude in which they take out each week has to be the same. It has to be reckless abandonment. They have to go out. They have to physically impose themselves on the opponent without those keys it, it'll be hard for them to win